Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Hammond Collection, Jurassic Park 30th anniversary, Geo Sternbergia. That's this flying reptile right here. Take a look at the Hammond Collection logo on the side of the box. And here we have a good Tim Burton picture of the flying reptile and the Lost World Jurassic Park logo. Flip it to the back, here's a look at the figure, and it says, Geo Sternbergia. While the Pterodon may rule the skies of Isla Sorna, the Geo Sternbergia makes a memorable pre-production appearance and displays an impressive wingspan with a longer neck, beak, and head crest. So, we'll get the art on this box real quick. Lost World logo up there. Hammond Collection logo there, and then the figure. That being said, let's dive right in, get this guy open, and take a look at Geo Sternbergia. Okay, here is a look at Geo Sternbergia out of its packaging, and just immediately, I can't help but notice all the amazing colors on this figure. You got like patches of blue, you can see where the paint's kind of scraped off on the joint there but you got the blue going down the back right here kind of works its way down right here got some browns and yellows throughout the wings the head looks really good i really like the crest it's got like a brown wash going over it the beak actually fades from a yellow into this beige color that's like all down the neck and the belly you can see right there this thing looks really cool another great pterosaur or flying reptile from uh, mattel i believe this thing is a pterosaur i believe that's what they call the flying reptiles or pterosaurs uh, the crest on this thing is really cool. It's uh, unfortunate that we never really got one of these in the movie. Um, I know there was supposed to be a scene, I think it was supposed to be originally in the Lost World, and they swapped it out for the uh, Pterodon instead, which is uh, kind of a more common choice, but maybe with the uh, new movie we're getting next year, maybe we'll finally get one of these on film. Now this thing does have some uh, wrist articulation right here and the hand can actually turn both ways and bend up and down, which is pretty crazy and pretty cool for this type of figure. Uh, very unique and different. Let's see if I can kind of... I'm gonna go ahead and flatten out the wings real quick so we can take a better look at those. Look at that. Even just that is amazing. You can just see all the detail and the paint that Mattel put into this. It's super cool. This is a really nifty little figure and uh, really glad I got it to add it to the collection. So let me straighten out the wings and the legs and we'll take a, a better look. Okay, so really quickly, here's a look at the Geo Sternbergia in flight mode. We can take a better look at those wings, the amazing detail and color. Take a look at that face again. The eyes are pointing forward as if it's looking forward when it's flying. Take a look at the other side there. The beak. Take a look at these legs. All the claws on this are actually painted, which is cool too. Some good uh, articulation and joints in those legs to uh, get a sitting pose, as you saw. Able to bend the wings and just set it down. Um, I chose this background because I thought it'd be kind of cool to kind of put uh, her in her natural environment, looking like she's building a nest high up in the treetops here. Um, so anyway, guys, this has been a look at the Hammond Collection Geo Sternbergia figure, another great flying reptile. Uh, another great Pterosaurus from Mattel. I really hope I'm saying that right. 
uh, I, I should have looked that up before I did the video. I, I believe flying reptiles are called uh, pterosaurs. Uh, but uh, don't quote me on that. As a matter of fact, I'm almost positive because I remember they did the uh, pterodactyl in Beast Wars. And they called it a pterosaur. So I'm almost positive on that now that I think about it. Uh, but if I am wrong, feel free to correct me in the comments below, guys. Uh, but anyway, as always, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, I'm going to get out of here because it's getting kind of windy. And uh, she looks like she wants to take flight on me. So she just might end up flying out of my hand if I don't get her out of this wind. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Fishbricks85, you guys know what it is.